Another day, another reason for Elon Musk to be in the headlines. What's the eccentric billionaire done now? He's offering a job to the hacker who hacked his company's satellite. Oh, and the device that the said hacker used. It was homemade, which is exactly what we'll be talking about in this video. First up, the Starlink satellite was hacked with a homemade device. We all know what Starlink is, right? Starlink is an internet company that works by sending radio waves to satellites in space, and then the satellites relay the signals back to Earth. This process requires no cables, no wires. Hence, the company can provide internet to every corner of the globe, no matter how remote. Now that you have the gist of what the company does, let's get on to the main story, the juicy headline. Apparently, one of these satellites that we just talked about had been hacked by someone with a homemade device nonetheless. The stunt was pulled off by a Belgian security researcher, Leonard Waters. The Belgian gave a presentation titled Glitched on Earth by Humans, where he described the vulnerabilities that enabled him to break into the company's terminal and write his custom code. In a press release, he stated that the widespread availability of these terminals exposes them to hardware hackers and opens the door for hackers to freely explore the network. Now, that's not safe, is it? Because the California-based company aims to provide internet to the whole world, what would happen if hackers just one day hacked their entire system to shut us off? That could lead to some massive chaos. Okay, but how did he pull it off? At this point, y'all are probably wondering how Waters managed to pull that off. Well, it wasn't that difficult difficult, which is exactly the problem. During the conference, he demonstrated a mod chip, also known as a homemade circuit. The mod chip directly connects to a Starlink dish and was built using components that could easily be purchased off the shelf. He first analyzed the dish and used that to develop a layout for the mod chip that would fit over the existing Starlink board. Then the Belgian security researcher connected the chip to the printed circuit board, also known as a PCB, and wired it together. The tool gives hackers control over the company's entire network work, and previously in accessible system areas. This happens by enabling the hackers to run code on the company's devices. Interestingly enough, Waters made his mod chips design publicly accessible on GitHub, and according to the ingenious hacker, the hack results in an unfixable compromise of Starlink, because then it allows the hackers to execute arbitrary code. However, the guy never had bad intentions. He actually did this as a part of the program run by SpaceX that rewards researchers for spotting such flaws. A few days after this hack, the company praised Waters for the discovery and announced that they just released a new software update to fix the problem. On top of that, they offered him a job. Did he accept? Did he decline? Well, let's get into that later in the video. So how much did the mod chip cost? We've already mentioned this, but to reiterate, the device cost shockingly little to make. And on top of that, it was made with things you could get right off the shelf. Nothing complicated went into making this chip. The circuit board included a Raspberry Pi microcontroller. This microcontroller is is incredibly accessible, and no matter what country you live in right now, you could go to any computer store and purchase one right away. In the United States, these things start at the low, low price of $4. It also included flash storage, which is pretty much like a USB. The mod chip also had electronic switches. We don't have to tell you how easily accessible and cheap this product is. And lastly, it had a voltage regulator. So you know, protect the device from electricity surges. The homemade PCB is capable of shorting the systems temporarily. It does so by a fault injection attack. This method, or glitch if you prefer to call it that, is then used to circumvent the security measures that the company has in place. Now because Starlink is a subsidiary of SpaceX, and SpaceX is a privately traded company, it's difficult to estimate the real value of the internet company, but it's somewhere close to $40 billion. Yes, billion, with a B dollars. And how much did it cost to compromise their security? $25. Yep, you heard that right. It costs just $25 to hack into their system. How crazy is that. Moving on, what are the consequences for Starlink? Starlink is an ambitious project. It aims to have a constellation of low Earth orbit satellites to bring the internet to every country in the world. Since its inception, the company has sent up more than 3,000 small satellites into space. The company also currently has over 400,000 subscribers, and the FCC has also permitted it to beam its service to moving cars, boats, and airplanes. Hence, as these constellations are being used more frequently, threat actors are now now more motivated than ever to find flaws and launch attacks on their security. A Starlink hack could quickly turn into a global security issue. According to Paul Zemansk, an expert on space warfare, when thousands or more of satellites go up into space, it'll make the company relatively immune to such attacks. At the same time, Zemansky believes that since Starlink satellites can maneuver away from each other automatically to avoid a crash, then a hacker can change the algorithm in all the satellites and insert a negative sign. 
This will make all the satellites move closer to each other, which will not only crash the entire network, but also cost the company and the U.S. government billions of dollars. Lastly, the company offered the hacker a job. So the situation that we just stated seems pretty grim, doesn't it? Well, don't worry too much, because the Space Exploration Cup has its own way of dealing with these things. Because they've released a six-page online paper inviting security researchers to bring on the bugs, they've thoroughly explained to them how they protect their systems. After analyzing the company's security, these researchers then try to exploit the system. And you know what? It seems to be working so far because of the Belgium bloke who just hacked them, Leonard Waters. Yeah, they just offered him a job. They do have problems, but they also have creative ways of solving them because now this bloke can just come on in and improve their security. He has not accepted their offer as of yet. Repeat this process a few more times and there you have it, an airtight security system. This was some pretty exciting news, but you know how it is in the world of Elon Musk and his gazillion companies. There there's always a thousand things happening per day. So why don't we just take a couple of minutes to discuss all that? Other news. Now let's talk about some bad news. Amidst a global price hike and companies pulling stunts like BMW's heated seat subscription, Tesla has announced that it's going to increase the price of its FSD software by 25%. FSD stands for full self-driving, and the software enables the driver to just relax behind the wheel while being attentive, and the car drives itself. They just released a new update, FSD 10 Point six nine, And yes, the name is not a coincidence. Classic Elon. In a tweet, the billionaire founder of the company tweeted that FSD will now cost $15,000, up 25% from the previous price of $12,000. However, orders before September 5th will still cost twelve grand. so get your checkbooks. Next up, you've pissed off a lot of fans, Musk. Under a tweet discussing his political views, the 51-year-old commented that he's buying Manchester United. Later, he clarified that it was just a joke. Harmless right? Not really, because it pissed off a lot of Man U fans. United fans have long been wanting to get rid of the Glazer family, whose ownership has led the club to a disastrous place. And when Musk stated that he was buying them up, they actually got kind of happy. Because the guy has boatloads of money and can buy any player in the world. As a consequence, the fans got really excited. Then when they found out it was a joke, they all got super annoyed, seeing their favorite club become a laughing stock. Finishing up, Musk is considering investing in his company's rival. We're sure you've heard of Neuro Link, the brain chip company owned by the South African American businessman. Now it seems like he's reached out to one of its biggest competitors, Synchron, with an investment offer. He did this because he's looking to collaborate with them and maybe use a little bit of their research to help his own company. Well, that's all we have for you today. Do you think it's smart to let people hack your system and expose its vulnerabilities? Let us know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Bye.